Hi guys, it's Pam here from Pam and Ted's Great Adventures. Um, Ted, you can probably hear whining. He's sat in his cage after a walk up on Dartmoor and he's got muddy feet, so we're just waiting for those to dry off. And uh, just so that you can see, I'm going to do a, a quick walkthrough now of the setup in the jazz. Um, right, obviously now I'm on day three of uh, full-time uh, car camping life. So um, I'll give you a little look at the front and then we'll do the back. Okay guys, enjoy the view. Um, I'm still up at Haytor on Dartmoor while I'm uh, filming this. Um, as you can see in the front, um, everything's covered over uh, with just a grey fleece cloth um, on the passenger side. And that's got my cool box and some boxes with food. Um, a tyre inflator and then just lots of bits and pieces from my camping gear and things like that. Um, the cool box I've got is just basically an out... Well, it's not plugged in at the moment. I have got the, the lead there to do so, um, but there we go. So she's, she's covered over because we've just got back from a walk. Um, next to that on the driver's seat drying off from the muddy paws he got on his walk is ted sat in his cage complaining um he won't be in there for much longer he's just had his dinner and a drink um we're just waiting for those muddy feet to to dry out um but lovely view to be looking out on uh so i'm not complaining and um, I'm going to show you now the driver's side footwell, um, which is where I keep my toilet, um, bridge monkey, kettle, DVD player, you can hear Ted moaning in the background, and a few other things. So here we are on the driver's uh, rear side, um, blind up at the window, um, I'll scroll around, you can see my lights. Uh, got space on the shelf for just putting your handbag, etc. Oh, the radio just moved. That's Ted jumping around in the front. Right, yeah, you can see my, my boxes and so forth. Um, these are all built onto the parcel shelf. When I say built, um, I've put a... Um, two pieces of velcroed laminate board on top of the parcel shelf and uh, there's a wooden support running underneath. Um, nothing was built in, they're all stuck with velcro but seem to be doing the job. Um, my Highland cow that uh, my lace hubby bought me the last time we were on holidays in Scotland before he passed away. Uh, all important carbon monoxide detector gas cooker. Uh, first box has got all my dry kitchen goods. Second box has got all my kitchen equipment um, other than the Ridge Monkey which I'll show you in a second. Um, the two boxes there have got all my outdoor clothing, hats, um, scarves, mittens, um, there's my two coats, um, one in case it gets wet. Uh, to change um, my radio uh, with our, our Nessie figure. Um, my PC speakers, I've got my PC with me as well as my laptop. Um, the PC, uh, there's a pair of twin speakers. They're only three watts. They've got really good lights on them, um, coloured lights. So uh, they go into the eco flow and run for absolutely ages. I've also got um, a little shelf behind which has got um, my fan, which again is a, a low watt that runs off the EcoFlow USB. Um, I've got my, my kitchen brush, um, my travel mug, the radio, uh, which I put on the floor when we're moving. Everything else is either Velcroed or bungeed into place. Um, all the boxes are bungeed into place at the rear. So obviously if I break, they're not all going to shoot forward. Um, as I said, space just for handbag, etc. up there. 
and then you're coming down to the seat uh, I've got a little elastic wrapped around the seat that needs changing for something tidier but um, a little bag uh, that holds all doggy bags uh, kitchen roll baby wipes that sort of thing down on the floor um, underneath the seat if I just lift up the cover there is uh, the Ridge Monkey and also we have my kettle down there. On the floor here you'll see um, a wooden table which actually fits. It rests on this here which is just a block of wood inside um, a cover sewn in place won't go anywhere and my table um, has got one leg which goes on the floor and uh, the other piece uh, just sits on that and it won't move anywhere I have tried that out so ideal for eating off cooking off etc uh, down here is the um, requisite camping toilet um, it's a full-sized Thetford, um, but it's the smaller, it's not the smallest, it's the next size up, which I've had for quite a few years now for camping trips. And then behind the driver's seat, you've got one of those little over the, over the back hanging devices that you can get in any of the cheap shops, home bargains, etc. Um, sweeteners, salt, pepper, my watch, um, DVD player, the iPad goes in there as well. Um, down below, plate, uh, knives and forks. Uh, behind it is my laptop. Um, out of sight and also sort of safer, not falling around. Um, right, I think that's that for that bit. Okay, so we're looking at um, the bed end. Um, under here, you'll see inserted into the top of the parcel shelf is a collapsible bowl. Um, it could push up at the moment. It's got um, eight cans of Pepsi Max stores in it that I picked up, so um, they're handy tucked away. Um, there's a dry bag at the bottom. Underneath that dry bag is the monitor of my PC, um, all safely wrapped up. Um, you'll also see the dry bag. There's my fire extinguisher. Um, I've got some little pouches sewn on to this contraption. Um, one has got all the, the leads off my speakers, etc. in, and the other has got a water bottle, which I just use at night, um, rather than having something that could get knocked over by Ted, as he doesn't sleep in his cage, he sleeps next to me. Um, at the back here, don't know if I can get a good view of it, but we have, um, a two litre water bottle that houses the USB tap. Um, I'm not going to get a very good view of that, but there's um, a cutout area at the side on a Honda Jazz there. The bottle fits in there perfectly. Um, behind the passenger seat, there is a 20 litre water container. So I just use the USB tap to fill up the smaller two litre bottle um, as and when necessary. Uh, let's have a, a look back up here. Um, yeah, this, um, this here is actually Ted's old metal dog cage from when he was a pup. Um, inside there, books, craft items, paints, knitting, crochet, um, all 
all my electrical bits um, in a box such as chargers, um, battery packs, all that sort of thing. Um, also my um, EcoFlow can go in there which I've got an EcoFlow River too. Uh, that will fit in there. Um, it's out at the moment so that I need to charge it up when I'm driving back today. Um, but yeah, so on top of it, the PC, fire extinguisher, speakers, and inside it, reading books, traveling books, maps, all that sort of thing. Um, you can see here, it is literally just a dog cage. Clipped onto that is my flask which is uh, sat in another container that keeps it safe, stops it moving. Um, I should add that everything that's up on top is either screwed in, velcroed onto something and then bungeed to uh, the dog cage at the back. So everything's secured. Um, there's my little night light, um, which is full of seashells and sea glass that I've collected over the years. So a um, photo of me and hubby when we were in Scotland uh, a couple of years ago. So here on the passenger side, I've got um, more LED lights running along, a window cover, Velcro's on. Um, I've just got them up at the moment because the sun's getting quite low. Uh, down here, just tucked in by the door, is a uh, 35 watt heated seat pad um, that uses um, a cigarette lighter point which I put into the EcoFlow in the evening. Um, I don't have it on for very long, um, just turn it on and off if it's a bit chilly. Um, and it also heats up the bed underneath ready for when I get into it. Um, it's got the teddy duvet cover here, nice and warm. Um, this just tucks in there and uh, normally pillow just to sit back against. Uh, looking at the front, um, you'll see pillow which obviously is at the top of the bed. Um, the headrest is off on the passenger side. Uh, that's stored down underneath simply because I can easily reach over and get anything out of the cool box. Ted is now whinging because uh, he's dry and I think it's time to come out of, of there and probably to go for another little wander and get wet again. Um, but um, clothes wise, under the bed, um, which is just basically um, a three inch foam base with a mattress topper and um, then teddy fleece bedding. Um, and it's lovely and comfortable and it's been nice and warm. But under the seat base, the original seats are all still in, um, in the well, there are three large bags containing clothes, towels, blankets, all have been vacuum packed. Um, and I've got one of those little um, pumps that you use, um, just USB, um, to deflate them. Um, so I just pull a bag out when I want to change into those clothes um, and then seal it back up again. Uh, so that's basically it. Um, and while there's still some sunshine, I'm now going to take Ted for another walk. So that was my basic walkthrough. Um, I am going to do a better video when I can get uh, my camera charged up. Um, I'd forgotten to charge it before we moved out and into the car. So I'm going to charge up my battery uh, now that I've got organised over the last few days and do a better video that I'll show you around the um, the boot um, and the storage that I've got and how I've got everything fastened in etc show you where I put the clothes and so forth 
Um, but for now, if you've got any questions, then please feel free to, to message away. Um, I'll get back to you as long as I've got an internet connection. Um, I'll, I'll answer any queries that you've got on, on camping in a jazz. Um, obviously, I'm only five foot two, so um, being vertically challenged a little um, does help when it comes to car camping. Um, although saying that, um, I could get about another four to five inches quite easily by moving the uh, cool box forward further. Um, but I've got my tyre inflator, which is actually quite a big thing from Halfords. It also is a light, um, a, a jump lead um, thing as well. So that's quite bulky. Um, so I might change that later on for something smaller. Um, and don't forget to, if you like the video, like and um, subscribe. It's free. And when I post something, obviously, if you press the little bell symbol, um, you can get notifications because very shortly Ted and I are going to be off on our adventures. Okay, bye.